go ahead and order when you're ready. Hi, um, can we actually just order the exact same thing that that white car just ordered? Hello. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel t Lev times two we hope you enjoyed our brand new intro video i'm trevor i'm taylor <laughs> and we are back with a brand new video um we hope that you guys enjoyed our mexico trip we are back obviously if you haven't seen that yet please go back and watch it we had so much fun but we are going to start a brand new series today called strangers pick our dinner we are going to drive to a restaurant we are going to go up to the drive-thru and we are going to ask them for whatever was ordered right before us. That could be a full family of people that ordered. It could be a single person wanting a soda. We don't know that. Uh, we just get to find out when we get there. And there's a couple of rules that come with the challenge itself. One, if we can, we have to eat the meal. If it comes with a drink, we have to have the drink as well. Uh, if not, then we need to go to a soda shop here in Utah and do the same thing all over again to complete our meal. A couple of ground rules with this. Um, we don't drink coffee. Uh, we don't drink alcohol. I don't think we'll run into an alcohol problem with most of the fast food places <laughs> that we'll be going to, but with that being said, we're going to have our smart home pick where we're going. Any number between the number one and the number 10 is McDonald's. Anything between 11 and 20 will be Arby's. And anything between 21 and 30 is Wendy's for today. All classics. <laughs> All classics. We're going to start off pretty easy. Alexa, pick a random number between 1 and 30. Here's a number between 1 and 30. It's 18. 18, so we're going to Arby's. Arby's it is. They have the meats. <laughs> we'll catch you over there. Just wanted to let you guys know if you haven't checked out our social media pages yet, uh, you can find us just same thing as TLEV underscore times the X underscore two. And that's on Instagram and Twitter. So we are having a lot of fun keeping those pages updated as well. So go check them out if you have a minute. And I'm just getting kind of nervous. <laughs> this <laughs> like, is our first time doing this. So uh, to, like, be, to be honest, like if we had done this before, we would know, you know, maybe what a drive through worker would say uh but this whole thing is like completely unscripted and just completely off the cuff so we don't know what's gonna happen well i'm just mostly nervous about the food honestly because like <laughs> even with arby's like i know it's a fast food place but i get the same thing every time i go there like it's always the classic roast beef with cheddar sauce and mozzarella sticks and the ham slider like, that's just what i get every time so what if it's something that I've never tried before? Like, it's just, it's kind of weird. It could, it could go south fast. Okay guys, we're pulling up. It looked like a couple. Uh, don't know if they'll be ordering for just themselves or for our family or what, but <laughs> we are about to find out. Welcome to Arby's. Go ahead and order when you're ready. Hi, um, can we actually just order the exact same thing that that white car just ordered? So you you want to get uh, a roast beef gyro, a turkey gyro, the pecan chicken salad sandwich and a medium curly fry? Yep, that sounds perfect. Okay, roast beef, turkey, pecan chicken salad sandwich. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. Guys, I've never had a Euro before. <laughs> I, I, I like Euros. I've never had an Arby's Euro before, so we'll, we'll see. Oh. And it looks like we will also be stopping at Fizz. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have secured our food. <laughs> and she just repeated the order, which was actually kind of nice. That was, per that was perfect. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't ask for any better. That was amazing. Yeah, she just went through and said, so you want this, this, and this, and this, and we were like, yep. yep. <laughs> to confirm, we do have the receipt here. So we have a roast beef gyro, a turkey gyro, a pecan chicken salad sandwich, which I actually am really excited to try that one, and some curly fries. I have not had a single thing that they just listed off. From, from yeah. Arby's. I've had Euros before, and Euros are typically pretty good. 
So I'm, I'm just hoping that Arby's hasn't found a way to ruin the Euro. <laughs> and now we are off to get our drinks real quick. As you can see, the drive through line is all the way out here. It's very long, which is the usual for these places. It's insane. <laughs> I've never not seen a line here. <laughs> I know, it's it's honestly crazy. Like Arby's, like Arby's, we had to wait there for like, for honestly, five minutes. But like, this is, this is your expectation when you show up here. This, this is what you're getting, this line. Here comes our person taking our order. What did they just order in front of us? Can we, do, can we do that? Can we replicate that one? Okay. We're wanting to try something new today. Thought that'd be a fun way to do it. <laughs> Alright guys, so sounds like they, they come up with names for the drink mixes. So we got a Pool Boy, which is a Mountain Dew base, and then a It's Not Me, It's You, which is a Coke Pepsi base. So we'll be able to see the ingredients once we actually get the cups, I think. Thank you. That was kind of good. <laughs> All right, we got our drinks, we got our food. So we are just heading over to a park right now. We're gonna have a little picnic and we'll let you guys know what we think. All right, we got the spread. Ridley is excited to dig in, obviously. <laughs> Here is the pecan chicken salad sandwich. Looks really good. This is the turkey gyro and the roast beef gyro and our curly fries. And then we found out that this is Pepsi with raspberry puree and vanilla. Sounds really good. And then this is Mountain Dew with pineapple, coconut, and half and half cream. I had some of the fries before, so we'll probably skip over those. Uh, but we'll try the RB Zero for the first time. Okay, that one's really good. Funny enough, when you first bite into it, it kind of gives me like a Subway sandwich vibe. Like if you like just took everything on there and just put it on a Subway sandwich, like it would taste exactly the same. So, I'm assuming that's probably gonna be the case with this one. Okay, so the turkey gyro gives a lot of the same vibe as the first one. It really is just, a, it's just a sandwich, but it's on uh, pita bread. All gyros have this um, sauce on it that for the life of me, I can't remember what it's called, so I'll probably put it down below in the subtitle when we can actually look it up. But it's really good and it brings everything together, kind of like, what I would imagine like ranch or like a mayo does um, for a normal sandwich. Last but not least, we'll try this pecan um, chicken salad sandwich. I have to give the people in front of us uh, two thumbs up for, although it's fast food, a pretty healthy selection. They did a good job. This chicken salad sandwich tastes super fresh. Like I know that when we eat this, like we're not gonna feel super heavy. Um, there is some celery in there, there's grapes in there, the chicken's good, the lettuce is fresh, like it all tastes almost like they like picked it out today and cut it up today. And so that was really impressive and it, and it tastes, tastes really good too. All right guys, so I have a confession. I had COVID and so my taste and smell currently is, it's gone, it's not a thing. So I still have to eat food, so that's why we thought this would be a good idea, but I'm gonna leave you with Trevor's explanations of the food because I can't taste any of it and uh, we'll just go from there. Okay, so I know I just told you I can't taste anything, but I just had a bite of this and I could taste like a zing of flavor. So like, I, I don't know what it was, but I can tell that it like tastes good, if that makes sense. It's like so hard to explain. I enjoyed having a bite of this, even though I can't taste it because I could tell it was very flavorful. Maybe, maybe the Euro, the Euro it's cures. Me back into here. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do the drink review now. This is the pool boy and then this is the it's not you it's me or it's not me it's you. No you got it right. Is it right? It's okay. not you it's me. Okay. <laughs> Mountain Dew base, uh, half and half coconut and pineapple. The thing that I liked that they did well with this was that the it's a hint of coconut. Like if you have like an almond joy like the whole thing's all coconut this is just a hint um, and everything else the pineapple, the half and half of the Mountain Dew is like the majority, so I can actually handle that. This is actually really good. Trevor's not a huge Pepsi fan. I'm not a big Coke fan either. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to sound dramatic. You know how some things taste like other things smell? It kind of feels like somebody threw raspberry essence in with the smell of like cigarettes. 
I'm not even kidding. Oh, it, this is so gross. Oh my God. I will not be drinking any more of that. Like, wow. It's nasty. <laughs> it's you, it's not me. That's just, <laughs> that's just so gross. There were three items on this meal. Um, all were very good and all were very filling, but I think most importantly on top of that is I am full, but I do not feel sick. Shout out to the people in front of us for knowing how to navigate the RV's menu and uh, we, we enjoyed it, we loved it. All right guys, that was an absolute blast. I am completely full <laughs> and we are super excited about this series. I honestly love that and we can't wait to give you more and to keep improving. And for now, it's enough time to see you Everything changes.